What's up guys and welcome back to another video on the MF Automotive YouTube channel. In this video I bring you a review on this 2021 Honda Accord SE. Before I begin though, I'd like to extend a special thank you to the awesome folks over at Maple Honda for providing the vehicle featured in today's review. If you guys are in the market for any new or used Honda, make sure to check them out. All their contact information can be found in the description box below. This is the 2021 Honda Accord SE, Honda's mid-size family sedan which entered its 10th generation for the 2018 model year. For the 2021 model year, the vehicle isn't go hasn't gone through a complete redesign but rather a mid-cycle refresh with a few changes around the vehicle which I will be sure to mention. The 2021 Honda Accord is available in 6 different trim levels. The base model, not so basic, is known as the SE while the rest of the trim levels follow suit as Sport, EXL, Touring, Sport 2.0, and Touring 2.0. Under the hood, the Accord is available with two different engine choices, a 1.5 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder engine which produces the same horsepower and torque figure of 192, while the other engine, a 2 liter turbocharged 4 cylinder produces 252 horsepower and 273 pound feet of torque. All trim levels of the Accord are available with the 1.5 liter turbocharged engine, while the 2 liter turbo or 2.0T as it's known is optional and only reserved for the and touring variants. Transmission choices are also dependent on which engine displacement you select. While the 1.5 turbocharged gets the continuously variable transmission or CVT for short, the 2 liter turbo gets the company's 10 speed automatic transmission. Regardless of what trim level you go for, power is rooted through the front wheels. Fuel economy ratings for both engines are as follows. The model you are looking at today is the SE trim finished in platinum white pearl and has a sticker price of $32,870. With all that information in mind, let us start off with the exterior styling and specifically the front where the 2021 Accord receives minute changes to freshen up the look of the already bold front end. The SE trim follows the route of the Sport, offering a darker theme to go with the more sporty personality. I love how the front just swoops down, it adds to the overall aggression of the vehicle. The previously horizontal fog lights are now circular, but feature the same LED setup as before. The grille features new slats, which are more pronounced, and feature less exposure down below. The automatic headlights are enclosed in a black housing and are full LED and are fully LED this time around, even on this trim level. They even feature automatic high beams as standard. At the bottom, we find the radar module for our suite of safety system. Lane departure warning, active lane keep assist, forward collision warning, and collision mitigation braking system. Moving on to the side profile, where the elongated and sloping design of the Accord is unmistakably mid-size sedan worthy. The sloping design out back may be a controversial design element for some, but I personally love the hatchback-esque look contributing to its premium looks. The wheels are 19 inches in diameter and are wrapped around Michelin all-season tires. Disc brakes are standard on all four corners of the vehicle. The heated door mirrors are encased in gloss black and feature an integrated LED turn signal. They also have the blind spot indicator which illuminates when a vehicle is in your blind spot, part of the blind spot information system. Last but not least, let us talk about the rear, where the 2021 model year features the subtle decklet spoiler finished in gloss black. The lower rear section features these chrome exhaust outlets with a body colored portion in the middle. The taillights offer LED brake lights while the turn signal and reverse lights are halogens. The antenna found on the roof is finished in gloss black, again going with that darker theme that seems apparent around the whole vehicle. With the exterior styling discussed, let us move on to the interior, where the materials mainly consist of soft touch plastics, leather wrapped objects, hard touch but rubberized surfaces, and gloss trim. The entire dashboard is covered in a soft to the touch rubberized material, 
which is squeezable when pushed. The front door panels use the same material at the top, while the bottom features less pliable, but still good upscale feeling plastics. And the middle portion features a leather lined portion with gloss accenting trim. The steering wheel and gear knob are leather wrapped with similar gloss trim running across the dash and satin trim in the center console. The overall layout of the interior is simple, yet elegant, and most commands are provided through physical buttons or knobs. The infotainment display can be controlled via the shortcut buttons found on either side or by your finger. The UI is easy to understand and is quite snappy when navigating through different menus. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integrations are also standard, making it easy to use the system of your choice. In reverse, a backup camera comes up which allows different views to be selected based on your preference. Over here, the rear cross traffic alert can also be turned on or off. The infotainment, a coveted volume and tuning knob also caress the screen, making it easy to switch between different radio stations, adjust the volume if so desired. Moving below reveals a few knobs used to control our climate. The Honda Accord features dual zone climate control with the knobs on the outside controlling the temperature and while the one in the middle being used to cycle between fan speed settings and toggles the system on and off. The knobs also feature buttons in the middle to sync the system or to activate the automatic climate setting. One cool party trick which has been implemented is the recurring light show. Depending on how you turn the temperature knob, the otherwise white accent lighting turns red or blue to signify and acknowledge the change. The knobs also provide a satisfying click when rotating them. This was also present on the 2022 Honda Civic Touring I reviewed a few weeks back. Furthermore, a display is present for the climate settings, which shows what mode is currently selected, as well as some physical buttons to control other aspects. And the heated seat buttons can also be found in the same general vicinity. Below that, we find our foldable cover, which reveals some storage spaces, our 12 volt outlet, and a couple of USB ports. Moving along to the middle where we find our gear selector, parking brake, cup holders, and more physical buttons for econ and to activate brake hold. You can never have too many physical buttons, huh? Opening the lid to our center console reveals, reveals more storage space and a USB port. It's also wrapped in leather and is a good spot to rest your hand or arm. The aforementioned steering wheel is a three-spoke design with a flat bottom. It's accented in silver trim and features controls on either side for our cruise control, audio, and to cycle through our instrument cluster. Speaking of the gauge cluster, it may appear to be fully digital at first sight, but it's actually a combination. The, dig the digital portion is on the left and acts as our tachom tachometer, while the analog section displays our speed and is always present in the cluster. While, this, while the display also gives you the ability to show other items like the, your fuel economy or media information, the integration is seamless and the instrument does really look fully digital when viewed from afar. While on the topic of technological gizmos, I should mention that the speaker system, an 8-speaker 180-watt setup with Bluetooth and voice capabilities. Moving along to the seats, which offer a leatherette material on the border of the seat and very plush cloth fabric in the middle of the seat. They are 12-way power adjustable and have four lumbar settings. The passenger seat in comparison offers four-way adjustability. The door panels house the controls for our power mirrors and windows. The controls are nicely surrounded in satin silver trim and offer automation for the front two windows. Moving along to the back, where rear seat passengers are spoiled with a plethora of storage space, the front passenger seat offers a map pocket behind it to hold slim items which would otherwise move around carelessly. The door panels offer their own pockets to hold bottles and other items you would usually accompany you on a ride. The center console offers a split seat which can double down as some cup holders too. Looking to carry longer items? No worries, because the seats can fold down in a 60-40 split motion by pulling on the anchors found in the trunk. Speaking of the trunk, it offers 473 liters of space. Well guys, that wraps up my review on this 2021 Honda Accord SE. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.